Imagine that as you, walking in the trenches of World War I, when suddenly a musty smell arrives. A mustardy smell. Oh no! It's mustard gas! In World War I, there was a brutal usage of chemical weapons by both sides of the war. Both the Germans, British and French used thousands of tons of chemical gas. Germany produced up to 70,000 tons of poison gas, France 36,000 tons, and Britain about 25,000 tons. There is always a conception that Germany was the first to use chemical weapons, but in reality it was the French, with them using tear gas in August 1914. There were three chemical weapons used, chlorine, phosgene, and mustard gas. These weapons were developed by Germans. This dude, to be exact. By the end of 1918, in the armistice, chemical agents injured over 1.3 million people and killed close to 100,000 soldiers. But of course, chemical weapons are only used if they're useful, right? So were they? Chemical weapons cause proportionally small deaths to other weapons, such as machine guns and planes. In the Second Battle of the Oppress, Belgium, on April 22, 1915, there was the first successful large-scale use of lethal chemical weapons. There, the German Imperial Army released 188 tons of berthalite, which is chlorine gas. This caused over 6 to 7,000 casualties. But in general, it can be said that this technology and technology in general was a decisive factor for World War I. Gone were the days of slow war. World War I brought mass killings through machine guns and hundreds of deaths by chemical weapons. But hidden in the depths of the war, unseen for now, was a small man lying in the hospital, blind, possibly because of mustard gas, possibly because of other reasons but impacted deeply. This small man with the interesting mustache had much to say and was prepared to do anything to get revenge.